Hello? Okay. It's time. Um, hello, everybody. I'm here today to give you a lightning talk about automating security checking. Um, let's start with introduction. My name is Milic Vuletic. I'm IT security engineer. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, attempt to build a tool to automate security check. So uh, let's start. When do we start with testing? We start immediately, we start developing things. And why do we do that? Because we want to solve all the problems sooner than later. They cost less if you fix them sooner than later. And uh, the next question is who does the testing? Well, the whole team does it. And the whole team is responsible for the quality of their code. Um, so the next question is how they are doing that. Well, they write tests and they are using tools to help them execute those tests. And for that, they need two things. They need domain knowledge and they need some kind of expertise to write those tests. Since we're talking about the development team, they certainly have the expertise in writing those things. In the security world, it's uh, same but yet different. We also need two things. We need domain knowledge, but we also need some special skill called web application pen testing. And that's that, uh, something that we don't have in every team. As a matter of fact, only few people in this company work on that uh, important matter, covering more than 300 coders. So um, the next slide shows uh, most commonly found vulnerabilities in our applications during the bug bounty sessions. So I thought to build a tool to help people to help themselves. And to do that, I had to start by analyzing functional testing. So how does it work? We have test scripts that are using web drivers, that are using web browsers, which are connected to test environment, and then we collect the responses and evaluate them. How does security check works? Well, the similar way. We have web application scanners, that's the application, which sends the HTTP requests to our test environment, collects the responses, and then evaluates them. But these tools have their limitations. First limitation is, well, how do they know where to send the requests. And the second one is how do they know how to find the vulnerabilities? Well, the first thing we can uh, help the tool with, the way that we reroute the functional test through our web scanner and therefore allowing uh, the um, scanner to collect all the URLs. But the second thing, we can help it by creating custom payloads and custom detectors and, there, and that way help it find vulnerabilities. So this is the final picture. Uh, this is uh, how it should look like. On top of everything sits Jenkins and the first step it does is to run a proxy server. Then it runs tests which are now going through the proxy and uh, which is able to collect all the URLs, of course. And after the, uh, the functional testing is done, uh, the web scanner is started with custom payloads and custom detectors. From the testing perspective, there's nothing going on. Test doesn't know that they are redirected through the proxy, but uh, we collect all the URLs. And at the end, something like this will pop up in your inbox. Um, showing the vulnerabilities found during the web scan and the format you, you, you may choose at your will. For, for the end, I have written that down just not to forget to say very important things. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would like to point out that we have already working proof of concept of this, but to make it live and to make it better and to make it useful, we need your participation. So just please join in and give us a call and we will help you to help yourself. Thank you.